Hey guys, I am Eli Blair and I'm over here at my super smelter and I am just going to put some lava in real quick. So what I was thinking about for today is it's going to be a different kind of uh, video. I'm, I'm going to be trying to do like a podcast kind of thing, like just Minecraft and chill. I've got uh, all this over here, so I've, I've got like... 10 stone blocks, uh, 10 stacks of stone blocks that I'm going to be placing today. And, uh, so I, I think, I think, let's see here, that totals out to be 640 stone, I've got 192 dirt blocks, 64 stairs, and 64 slabs. So let's go ahead and grab these real quick, and, uh, why don't we just see how many of these we place today alright so I'm, I'm gonna head over this direction and you know I I've been uh, I've been seeing seeing the new update news and stuff that's really cool Have you guys seen that uh, the height increase in Minecraft and the floor is getting deeper which means all those caves are gonna be so so much deeper oh I'm having a hard time getting up here Let's let's go over here and uh, just take a look at what this looks like. Let's see here. Get get on up here. But yeah, yeah, it looks so cool to me. I I think I'm gonna have a great time, and I'm gonna use all that stuff, and I'm just gonna decorate, you know, the inside of this cave here. I think I might bring this up to maybe this height right here. Oh, I'm hungry. Got gotta eat, guys. You know you can't starve yourself, even in Minecraft. Yeah, I think I'm gonna bring it up to here. I don't know. We'll see as I go, I guess. But yeah, oh man, that snapshot looks so so good. That's available on Java if you're wanting to play it yourself. If you somehow haven't already heard about it, let's see. I don't. I don't want that one there. Uh, and in other news, did you guys hear that Gina Carano got fired? Uh, otherwise known as um, Cara, Cara Dune from The Mandalorian. She got fired. Basically, they were trying to fire her before, but it was really this tweet that made it, made it really go off. And uh, I, I don't think they were expecting all the backlash that they got because they got quite a bit. Uh, S Star Wars and Disney, that is, which you know, I that that's kind of expected. Like honestly, like how did you guys not expect that to happen? I'm gonna place dirt down just to kind of make it feel running, running off, I guess, and maybe some stone here. Yeah, that's that's looking all right. Um, now nah, get rid of that one. Yeah, it, wait, I just think it's crazy. She she was honestly one of my favorite characters, so I'm not too sure how I feel about it because I I really liked her in the show, and I'm kind of sad to see that she's gone. But yeah, it's just so so much going on and. You know, I, I've been working and whatnot, working on this, although th this is a different kind of work. This is a lot of fun uh, compared to my normal job, uh, but, you know, I, I just wanted to talk about Minecraft a little bit. It, it's, it's a nice game. I'm so glad that they're doing that update, and I think we should, you know, commend the, the uh, developers because they're, they're doing a pretty decent job. Uh, right now they're listening to the fans and everything which I think is important it's it's something you need to do if you're not gonna listen to fans you know what what's the point right let's see uh, just add in trying to add in a little bit of texture here and there just to make it not not so boring and we're gonna do that all the way across up here but yeah, I, I think they're doing a pretty good job right now. They're, you know, listening to the fans, and that's pretty pretty good, pretty important. I, I've been playing Minecraft since I was, like, 
12 or something. I, I did take like a long-ish break. Uh, I kind of stopped playing when I was like 16. And then recently in the last few years, I've gotten back into it. Uh, thankfully, I'm, you know, I really enjoy the game, and I'm glad to see what they've done with the game so far. I think, I think it's really, really nice. Let's put that there, and that there, and I don't know, something like that. Yeah, maybe that right there, 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 yeah, yeah, some, something like this. Something like this is kind of nice. Let's see here. Just taking a look at it. I'll put that there. Probably need some work over here done. Let's just do this. Yeah, so I, I played quite a while, uh, you know, as, as, a, oh, as a kid. But I, I stopped playing for a while. Uh, you know, but... You're, you're never the same person you were as you were 16, right? I, I stopped playing Minecraft, now I'm playing it again, so that's kind of the same, but I've changed so much from when I was 16, and I've, I've just been thinking about that lately. I think it's pretty, pretty interesting how much you can change as a person. And, uh, you know, no one's the same as they were when they were 16, and unless you are 16, that's uh that's kind of a different story, you know, cuz well, you're you're 16. And one one of the changes I think uh that has been the most in my life, I believe, is when you know, when I was in high school, I used to date a lot of people, uh probably too many. <laughs> if I'm being honest with myself, probably a little too many. But I think the the biggest change I made was when I was 17 and I was in my senior year of high school, I decided that I wasn't going to date anyone that year and that I was just going to find out who I am and what that means for me. And I, I feel like that's one of the best decisions I've made because I really got to know myself and got to know who I'm like as a person, which I think is something that when when you're in your late teen years, even your early teen years, if if you're that far ahead, you can getting to know yourself is going to be one a great a real really good decision, and uh, it, it's interesting because because I've learned oh is you know I've I've also learned over the years that no one really knows what they're doing in life you know like as an adult. You, you, as a kid, you look up to adults and you think, wow, they know what they're doing, right? That's what you think as a kid. You think adults know what's going on. Uh, let's, let's go down here. But as I've become an adult myself, I've learned, you know, I have no idea what's going on. And so many other people have no idea what's going on as well. Like, we're, we're just doing... <laughs> doing the best we can and uh but but i think it's important that you learn who you are now and accept that change is going to happen let's see um like that how's that look i think i need more dirt up there let's do it on this side um, right like that. So I kind of want it to, you know, look like a real mountain a little bit. And, uh, what's this side look like? I should probably work on this side, but I might not do that today. I'm just going to work on this side. Because this is the side the cave's on, so it's, it's the important side anyways. Right? Yeah. What, what was I saying? So yeah, you getting to know yourself now is a really, really good thing to do, and accepting that you're going to keep changing as a person. When when I was younger, I was like, ah, I'm, you know, me. I make all the make all the good decisions, and you know, some of my decisions they they were terrible, terrible decisions. I've made some pretty pretty bad 
decisions in my life. But you know, you know, uh, that that's fine. Everyone makes mistakes. That is how life is, isn't it? Just making making mistakes. I think let's bring some dirt in here and see what that's gonna look like. Uh, I should probably go to sleep. Yeah, let's let's get on into the house right now. So uh, I, I did a little update. I added this, and I added a table, and I added this slab here. It's it's not too much, but you know now I can sit down and enjoy my breakfast, or uh, yeah, I'll enjoy some bread. I can't actually eat right now, but pretend I enjoyed that bread, and everything will will be fine. Let's get on to sleep, and we'll uh, go to sleep staring at that diamond. Because, you know, diamonds are life, like I said in the last episode. Um, do I need... I don't need anything. Okay. So, y yeah, lear learning who you are. I think I've said that probably way too many times, huh? You know, uh, yeah. And I think ch ch changing, though. You, you need to accept change, and you need to change, because... Some people find change to be scary, but you know that that's what life's about. Life is about change. Uh if if you don't change, you're going to fall so far behind. So it's best just to keep that in mind, but to continue knowing who you are, not not to you know, you, you need to know who you are to be able to be successful in life. And I I honestly don't think a lot of people realize that. You know, it, it's been said, be the change you want to see in the world. And, you know, that that really is true. But it doesn't have to be this big, grand kind of thing. Like, it, it can be small changes. All the little changes that you make in your life that are good. You know, just small things. Like, you know, what am I going to do different today from the last day? Uh, you know that's beneficial uh, and you know you know the quote I just said uh, be the change you want to be in the world well it, it's kind of interesting that that is attributed to Gandhi but he actually never said that so I'm, I'm gonna read you guys a quote here from uh, what he said and it, it is quite different from uh, what what you think I'm sure so I think I'm going to display this quote up on screen for you guys. Okay, so here's the quote from Gandhi. We but mirror the world. All the tendencies present in the outer world are to be found in the world of our body. If we could change ourselves, the tendencies in the world would also change. As a man changes his own nature, so does the attitude of the world change toward him. This is the divine mystery supreme. A wonderful thing that is the source of our happiness. We need not to see what others do. What What's interesting, you know, that, that quote is honestly, it's super, super meaningful. And I think it just says what I was trying to say way better than what I was trying to say. But, you know, along with that, every everybody changes and... Like I said before, I don't think a lot of people realize how much they can change. Uh, and I, I honestly think that's the reason why there's so many failed marriages. Is because you change. Even even as an adult, you're going to change a lot. Uh, from, you know, when you were 20 to 30 or 30 to 50. You're, gonna, you're just going to change so much. And, you know, having kids, getting married, that changes you. And I don't think a lot of people realize that. And so they, they get married or, you know, they, they have a relationship and they don't think they're going to change. And they end up changing. And, uh, you know, that that it's fine to change. Like, that, that should be expected. Everybody changes. But uh, I, I think that, you know, it what attributes to that is that they, they just don't work on what they need to work on because love isn't always just about love it's about communication 
and it's about recognizing who you are as a person and you know changing for the better for your partner and uh, recognizing how they've changed as a person since you met them or uh, you know how however long you've been with them they're gonna change as well and that, so people get married and you know their partner changes or they change and so they're not happy but you that's really something that has to be worked work towards anything in life that is good is going to be something that you're gonna work at it's never gonna be something that just falls into your life and uh, you, you know r relationships that that can be applied to everything like your friends change you change I just think it's easier you know with a friend uh, than that you're not romantically involved with if they change you're like oh that's that's fine you know we're still friends and that's kind of why people grow apart and uh, you know they're they, they grow apart like you probably don't have the same friends you had in elementary school or uh, middle school or high school right I mean I've got a couple but uh, not not a ton the majority oh I'm out of dirt so I, I guess we we have to go get some dirt now uh, yeah so the oh what am I doing I was looking at my computer <laughs> So I, I really think getting to know yourself is going to be one of the best things you can do. Where is the dirt? Okay, so I, I have to take note that I took 64 more dirt because I'm, I'm going to be totaling up. You know, this really isn't a mountain. I should probably make it taller, but this is going quicker than I thought it would. Let's see. Let's, um, let's put this here and get rid of this and put that yeah just make it a little better uh, like that yeah and then this one this one can be that yeah sure why not um, let's bring this over a little bit see here okay yeah sure sure why not I think we're gonna build something up here maybe maybe I'll eventually like make it to up a little more and I'll build this up I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do that so I'm I'm not really gonna do that today but I yeah I just wanted to talk about you know getting to know yourself and because I got to know myself when I was 17 in my senior year of high school I was able to do some pretty cool stuff that year that I don't think I would have done otherwise if I had been in a relationship during that time because a relationship takes a lot more more than we always think because it takes a lot of your time and effort and you know you have to be good at communication stuff like that um, I feel like we should do something here let's just add to this oh that was really quick yeah I, I honestly think it was one of the best things I've ever done for myself and I recommend it for you too uh, and you know I, I think this advice is pretty good right now because of the way things are you know uh, you if, if you want a stable relationship it's something you got to work at which right now during everything that's going on with this like pandemic and stuff it's a little hard to have stable relationships like I mean right now my only stable relationship is to the internet <laughs> uh, which I'm fine with by the way like you know, I mean, it's, it's all good but yeah I, I think it's good right now to get to know yourself because you've got a lot of time to do it you know get to know what you like get, get to know what your hobbies are so you can have a better time than you know all this garbage that's going on because it, it sucks so you you want to find some things that you enjoy so find find a hobby uh, you know good do some cool stuff with that if you like music if you like art if you like Minecraft or if you like making videos for internet for uh, 
strangers on the internet. You know, that, that's what I like doing. And, uh, yeah. You know, just get to know yourself. Be the change you want to be in the world, even if it's a small change. You know, I, I know I said Gandhi didn't really say that, but it, it's in the same manner of what he was thinking, and I think he'd appreciate the sentiment of it being kind of related to him. Like, miscredited, but related, you know? And, uh, you know, I, I guess right now, because of everything that's going on, I'm pretty thankful for work, because I at least get some social interaction, which I know not everyone is getting right now. But it it's still, like, weird, because I'm tired, but I feel like I don't always get those meaningful conversations uh, that... You know, you, you get from friends and stuff because those work conversations tend to just be about work. And, uh, you know, that that's not always the best. Uh, but I, I've been I've been, you know, fine with that. Uh, talk talking to my best friend on uh, on calls and whatnot, you know, which which isn't so bad. But, you know, that and work, you know, it, it, oh, I think I'm saying you know too much, you know, <laughs> work's been kind of crazy, like I said in the last episode, there, there was like that thing I found in the mailbox, I should probably sleep, yeah, that was scary, but you know what else is scary, kind of, you know, it's scary, annoying, your coworkers, my coworkers, am I right, they can be annoying, like, I've got one coworker who, like, I did this thing to make the workflow like happen better and just ignored it and like the other coworkers were kind of annoyed with that and then I have another coworker that just plays country music like 24/7 non-stop and I am so tired of it like I I'm fine with country music usually like it, it's all right it's not my favorite genre but you know it, it's fine there's a couple artists that I enjoy listening to but you know I don't want to hear it 24 7 it, it that that just really sucks you know I I think this hill is done here and I think I've given some all right advice so I think well let's see I'm gonna bring this down actually this feels kind of weird but you know it feels uh, I don't know let's take a look feels minecrafty enough it feels okay i suppose um this block this block right here needs to go yeah i think that's better oh boy i'm having troubles getting up there but yeah i, I think that's going to be all for this episode i didn't want it to be too long i'm thinking about doing these like kind of mini podcasts that aren't too long uh, here on YouTube and then uh, just do those every other week and also my normal videos every other week so that way I'm posting once a week and the podcast aren't gonna be a regular thing I'm probably gonna do some other videos on these days but thanks for watching I, I hope I hope even my little rant there helps at least one person if it helps at least one person I think that will be pretty good and that that would make me happy and you know what else would make me happy if you hit that like button you subscribe you know you hit the bell so you can see more of my videos and also I really hope you have a great day mm -hmm.